Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and when it comes to galaxies, there are only a few that are actually iconic. And one of them is right here. This is known as the Cartwheel Galaxy. The galaxy that you can see right here in the picture from Hubble, and a galaxy that I've recently mentioned in one of the videos about ring galaxies, because this is actually one of the most iconic ring galaxies out there, and allowed the scientists back in the day to essentially explain how we today believe a lot of ring galaxies form. You can actually learn a little bit more about this in this other video that should be in the description below. But very recently, the scientists announced that they released new pictures and have conducted new observations of the region where this galaxy is located by using the infrared instruments on the James Webb. In the process, seeing this galaxy in new light and providing some new observations and new explanations for what we now believe happened here a few hundred million years ago. And so let's discuss these new pictures and these new observations in more detail and talk a little bit more about this iconic galaxy that sort of forms one of the most beautiful formations out there in the night skies, even though technically you would need a very powerful telescope to actually see this. And let's actually start right here. This is a simulation of this galaxy in Space Engine, and you can sort of see that it's not an only single galaxy here. There are at least three galaxies sort of connected to one another gravitationally, although as some of the X-ray observations revealed, there are potentially a lot more here, with most simply being relatively difficult to see because of the distances. And originally, this galaxy was discovered by Franz Zwicky, the Swiss astronomer famous for coining the term dark matter. He was essentially the first to discover these unusual phenomena that he could not explain and called them dark matter because it was some kind of invisible matter that nobody could see. But in 1941, he also discovered another mystery he could not explain. He actually considered it to be the most complicated structure that still had no explanation and could not be explained with simple stellar dynamics. Here we had four physically connected galaxies, spiral galaxies, with three being relatively close and one being slightly farther away. You can actually sort of see the fourth one in the top right corner. And so these galaxies presented early astronomers with a new mystery. How exactly did they acquire these unusual shapes? And at a distance of just under 500 million light years away from us, or approximately 250 times as far away as the nearby Andromeda galaxy, it was relatively difficult for the early astronomers to see the detail required to explain what happened here. But because of the recent detailed observations in the X-rays, visual light and infrared light, the scientists are pretty certain they know what happened here. This is a result of one of many different types of galactic collisions, in this case between relatively large and relatively massive galaxies. In this case, the Cartwheel Galaxy is just a little bit smaller and less massive than the Andromeda at roughly around 145,000 light years across. Although its size might have actually increased because of the collision with one of the galaxies near it, very likely the one that you see in the top left. But obviously the question is, why exactly does it have such a strange shape? Normally when we see galactic collisions, they sort of produce more irregular shapes and sometimes result in the formation of what's known as the elliptical galaxy, which might then lead to a formation of a spiral galaxy. As a matter of fact, a lot of galactic collisions look somewhat different to begin with. Well, as I've discussed in that previous video about the ring galaxy formations, Sometimes, when the orientation between colliding galaxies is just right, one of the galaxies might end up shooting through the other galaxy in such a way that it essentially forms a bunch of ripples around it. With the ripples in this case being represented by the hydrogen gas. And a lot of these ripples will then produce a lot of higher density regions in a kind of a circular formation, which will then initiate star formation, but in this case, in a circle around the galaxy. Although because there are other galaxies involved in this case, the circle is not really perfect like in other ring galaxies, and is thus a little bit distorted. In this case, we actually have two different rings in this galaxy, very likely from multiple collisions, with the outer ring having a velocity of about 270 km per second as it moves around the galaxy. And as you can see from the X-ray observations, there are quite a lot of very active regions, very likely producing a lot of black holes and neutron stars, because of an extremely active formation of really massive stars. As a matter of fact, very recently, just a year ago, the scientists detected a supernova in this region. Here's what it sort of looked like when it happened just a few months ago from when I'm making this video. As you can see, it was pretty powerful and quite bright. 
But what makes this galaxy unique and somewhat interesting is not really the rings, as much as the structure between the rings, the cartwheel spokes. And that of course makes this galaxy very complicated and extremely intriguing. These unusual spokes even seem to connect the outer ring with the inner ring. And this is not something we often see around galaxies, as a matter of fact, it's the only galaxy known to us that seems to possess such strong formations. But in this case, these formations very likely represent a bunch of reforming spiral arms that are slowly being developed after the collision that very likely happened 200 to 300 million years ago. Which of course implies that back in the days, this was probably a typical spiral galaxy with typical spiral arms. The arms that were destroyed during a major collision. However, following this collision, some of the previous dynamic forces started to slowly rebuild these arms and created these spokes we see connecting the two rings, with the new images from the James Webb telescope revealing new details about all of the star formation and about these spokes. So first of all, this image right here taken with the near-infrared instrument definitively shows us that this existing structure on the inside seems to be slowly disintegrating and is actually reforming a spiral galaxy. If you look at this in more detail in one of the links in the description below, you can actually see this really really bright core containing huge amounts of hot dust that seems to contain a lot of giant star clusters that were previously invisible to us. Whereas as before, we can see a lot of young active stars on the outskirts with the ring that very likely expanded for the past 400 million years still forcing a lot of new stars to form because of the higher presence of dust in this area. And a lot of detail produced by this instrument shows us quite a lot of clumpy areas associated with younger star formation, as opposed to older stars that generally produce much smoother areas. As a matter of fact, every blue dot you see in this image represents some kind of a star or a small pocket of star formation. And here we can actually see that the star formation only happens in certain regions and mostly along the spokes or along the outer ring. But in order to learn even more detail about this galaxy, the scientists looked at this using MIRI or the Mid-Infrared Instrument. The instrument that produced a very different image showing us completely different detail. This here actually shows us mostly hydrocarbons and a lot of silicate dust or the stuff we usually find on various planets and various rocky objects. And so here we can actually see the regions that are extremely rich in a lot of these elements, with once again mostly the rings and the spokes having most of these materials. The rest of the galaxy is pretty much empty. But more importantly, this image right here definitively solves the mystery of this being a transitionary galaxy. A galaxy that's slowly turning from a ring galaxy into a typical spiral galaxy like the Milky Way. And more importantly, points at that other neighbor that you can see in the top left as the most likely culprit that caused all these rings to form. The satellite galaxy that you see right here, that's sometimes referred to as G2. And so this whole structure will very likely disintegrate completely in the next few hundreds of millions of years, with a lot of the gas and the stars on the outskirts most likely making their way toward the center, which some of them already seem to have started doing, and eventually reforming some kind of a spiral galaxy with very prominent spiral arms potentially resembling the galaxy that you see right here, known as the Pinwheel Galaxy. And altogether, these observations more or less solve the mystery of many different ring galaxies out there, and kind of show us what happens when certain galaxies receive a collision right in the middle, and very likely from a very specific perpendicular direction. Although in this case, because as you can see the ring is not perfect, something else might have disturbed the shape afterwards. But I guess more interestingly, even though the original spiral was destroyed, this galaxy is now reforming a completely new spiral and is actively forming new stars that will probably be responsible for the new arms in the next few hundreds of millions of years. Making this one of the more unique galaxies out there and a galaxy that sort of solved a lot of mysteries when it comes to the galactic collisions and when it comes to formations of galaxies. But obviously did not solve all of the mysteries and you can learn more about these mysteries of ring galaxies in that video from before. But I guess for now that's pretty much it. Once we learn something else about this galaxy, or discover something else about some other ring galaxy, I'll follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. 
Support the channel Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.